guys that have seen it, what is it? Is this instrument called? Barak and his wife. Wrong. <laughs> so what we say, um, this we do is an introduced name. Does everybody know the, the man called Chow Dao? Yeah. He's a well, well known explorer and he loved naming things. That's what he loved doing. So when he comes to Australia for the first time, he went to Arnhem Land. And when he got there, he heard a strange sound coming from the bush. So he followed that sound. And then when he got there, he found an Aboriginal man by a fire playing a strange instrument. And the sound that came out of the instrument was didgeridoo, didgeridoo, didgeridoo. The child bowed and said, alright, that must be called a didgeridoo then. So that's how the name came out. But the original language of this instrument, of the island land, they called this the Yiriki, or the Yitha. So that is the original name. You can see here, I'm happy that so we all have many different names for this instrument. So if you go to Mornington in the Gulf uh Mornington Island, the Gulf of Cafeteria, they call this Lagoa. And far north Queensland, they call this Jigigi. And when we grew up in the southeast coast, we call this Budaya Mandu. So all of those names translate to to throw sound out of a hollow log. So that's exactly what this is, a hollow tree. The way it becomes hollow is by little white ants called termites. They eat the insides for us, and then um, to make our job a lot easier. So what we have to do is get our axe, tap onto the tree. We listen for the sound to see if it is fully hollow. Once we know it's, it's fully hollow, we cut it, take it home, take all the bark off it and sand it down nicely. And then you can put a mouthpiece on the top. This this didri, uh, this didri key has three pieces of wood to make uh, the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece, but usually we would make uh, you can make our didri keys with beeswax on the mouthpiece. That helps with the sealing of the air and makes all the pressure is inside the didri key all the, all the time. So there's four main techniques of playing this instrument. The first one is to blow raspberries or play with a toy car, just like this. Secondly, I move my tongue up and down to make the sound of a kangaroo jumping. Thirdly, I use my voice box in the back of my throat to make calls such as dingo calls or kookaburras. And lastly, I do an ancient technique called circular breathing. So it helps me play the instrument without stopping. So I breathe in my nose, fill my cheeks up with air. And as I slowly release that air, I take another breath through my nose at the exact same time. So that allows me to continue to play. So this is Buddha Yamandu, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go back here a bit. Are we? Oh,
Well, that's not make any sense. <laughs> and lastly, Yo, one day, one day, y'all will find 